Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of A Jayla Dies A Lot, where I will be playing Nuclear Throw. Again, I am Jayla of Ghost Cartridge, and without further ado, let's get at it. Um, I think today I will... I'm gonna make an attempt with YV. Because YV's pretty fun. Um, he is different. He's one of the few um, characters that starts with a different starting weapon. Starts with a different starting weapon. Good job. He starts with a golden revolver, which plays into his passive ability, which is that he has a higher rate of fire, which is fun. Um, the, oops. <laughs> Sorry, I already get hit. Good job, Jayla. Um, so the all golden weapons naturally have a faster rate of fire, which is very nice. And YV's passive ups that rate of fire for all weapons. Um, his active, however, is also very fun. I'll show you in the next level, because so let's not waste any bullets. Is that if you right <laughs> if you right click, he will shoot two of whatever um, shots the things you're holding. So with a shotgun, that's the normal. Oh god, Cricky. piece of shit! It'll double the amount of things shot out. So that was a um, a golden scorpion, which is a pain in the ass, but they give it a lot more rads, which is nice. Um, for the most part, I don't tend to use YV's, um, his, uh, his thing is called Pop Pop, I believe. <laughs> He's a very fun character to play. Um, I think I was hit. I was hit. Again, this is gonna be a short run, I can tell already. Ah. Trigger fingers will be fun. Click. Oh, did I get two? Oh, awesome, I got two. Uh, let's go with uh, that. Alrighty. So, yeah. Trigger fingers will be good because if I kill things, um, with Pop Pop for example, he will reload even quicker. So the, the thing about Pop Pop is that you still take, I believe, the same amount of time to reload as you usually would. Um, I'm just gonna use it on him because Big Bandit's a bit of a pushover. I used to actually really struggle with um, beating Big Bandit when I first started playing this game, but I've slowly gotten better at it. Ah, oh, Salt Rifle, I like the Salt Rifle. Um, I like Salt Rifle, it's very fun. And it shoots. I like it because it'll kill most things with one, um, click up through the next level, I believe. Which is nice. Um, unless you get scared your face, which you know is always fun. But yeah, I, I, I like the Assault Rifle. It shoots quickly. Um, the reload's not horrible. That assassin can shove off. Um, oh god, there's like two of them. Shit. So rats will, um, in the sewers will damage you for two health if they run into you, which is why I'm trying to frantically shoot and not try to get hit by them. Ooh, laser rifle. Eh, laser rifle would be fun actually, but yeah. Eh. Yeah, no, I'll stick with what I have right now. What the hell is the last rat? The one thing about- ah, oh, there he is. The one thing about sewers is it's very easy to get turned around and, like, not be able to find the last enemy. So the portal at the end of the level will open up, um... I think that. Um, won't... Yeah, I was gonna say shit, that sounded weird. Um, it won't open up until you defeat all the enemies in the level. So if it hasn't opened, you'll know that you've missed something. <laughs> Basically, is how that goes. Um, so... You're not probably going to notice it unless I have a very calm ending to the level, but, um, whoops, I died. Good job, Jayla. <laughs> let's, um, let's try that again. <laughs> so that was very bad. Um, but I was gonna say, oh, actually, it's probably easier to show you here in the earlier levels where there's not, like, everything going on. Actually, you know what, if I can find a screwdriver, oops, I'm going to take you all to a very interesting place. Um, uh, uh, that is a crossbow, however. I will just apparently not pick it up and get hit instead. Using almost all of my ammo. Which is fine. Um. What was I saying? Oh. I don't know if you heard that, but vaguely there was like a, um, almost a, a lower noise in the background. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a noise. And that means that there's only one enemy left on the level. Um, to kill for the portal to open. I, I touch trigger fingers again because I tend to like it as a, as a mutation. Aha. Solar. 
we'll, we'll take that. I don't know why I prefer the assault rifle over, like, the golden, um, what's it called? Golden pistol. I, I can use my words, I promise. Um, but I do, for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Oh, yes, bolt marrow. Oh, so I, I probably should have shown you guys, um, why these, uh, what's it called, throne butt things, but... Shush, big bandit. I'm having a conversation. Ow, that hurt. Yeah. Um, but his, uh, throne butt will fire, I believe it's double the amount when you do, um, pop pop. I think it upgrades it to, um, I think it's called Brap Brap or something, I don't know. Some of them have very interesting names. <laughs> um, something like that. I'm not sure. I don't- Look, I don't proclaim to know everything about Nuclear Throne. I just do the things and try my best <laughs> to not die horribly. Ah. So I personally will always take, um, Strong Spirit over other things because survivability, but, um, so I like- so the reason I took the sledgehammer, I usually I wouldn't take the sledgehammer, um, but because I have trigger fingers, it means that the sledgehammer will one-hit kill a fair number of enemies, if not most of them, um, apart from the bigger ones that will give, you know, problems to everybody because nobody likes them. Um, but because I can kill a lot of things in one hit, it means that the swing time is a lot faster for this. So usually the sledgehammer has a pretty slow, um, swing time, which means that it's not the best for dealing with larger crowd. I'm actually going to take long arms because I have a melee weapon, but I actually like to keep because, um, as you can see, that arc is a lot faster. So as you see here, um, the swing time is a bit slow. You hear the little, like, foot noises, which means you can swing again. But if I were to come and kill, it's a lot faster. Um, and if you kill- I, I'm, like, pretty sure that the, um, trigger fingers stack. So if I were to kill, like, multiple things at once, it would actually, um, reload even fa- quote, quote, reload even faster. Um, but I'm not actually 100% sure. <laughs> Shit! That was dumb, Jayla. I walked into that, that was my fault. Um, I'll probably die now, but whatever. <laughs> God damn it. I was closer than I thought I was. Um, than I thought I could be, I should say. But let's, uh, cheese a few things from the wall here. Shit! Jayla, use your crossbow. Forgot I had a crossbow for a second. Start maniacally shooting off into the distance, but probably kill a few things. Oh shit! Yeah, good job, Jayla. Um, that went well. We're gonna keep doing this until I can <laughs> stop sucking. God damn it! I actually had a pretty good build going there. That was my own stupidity, though. It's not like the game was throwing crazy shit at me, which. I mean, I guess it's just quote-unquote crazy shit for me because I'm not very good at the game. Oh my god, I suck today. Um, but... And I'm sure, like, a like a more veteran... Well, excuse me, I should say that a better player could probably handle a lot of the things that screw me over when the game does weird shit. I'm gonna take that again for survivability. Survivability, I can't speak today. You know, you think I'd learn my lesson about throwing explosives, but oh well. They do a lot of damage, it's just you have to be very careful. Oh, that's a crossbow. I want it. So, can we set it close to the ammo on? Uh, there's something shooting at me. Where is it? <coughs> Ow! Rude. Yeah. But, you know. So, all the weapons do a different amount of damage, um, as you probably have figured out something. Oh, actually, I'll take that shot then. Yeah, I'll take that. So, I like the, um, shotgun and, uh, crossbow combo, especially when I don't have, um, bolt marrow, because... Hold on. Show off. Because, if I can hit that, ow. Ah. Uh, because it allows me to have a spread to my attacks. Um, ow. Wow, okay. I mean, or I could just immediately die. Jesus. Oh, how shameful. Um, 
But no, it allows me to have a spread to my attacks, um, but also have more concentrated damage. So, a crossbow bolt will kill scorpions in one hit, which is nice, even without scaring your face. Um, but they're not good for attacking. For example, the very quick- yeah, so see, it upgrades them, pop up to brap, brap. I can't make noise. What am I trying to do? I can't make that noise. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But I- it's obviously very hard to hit without, um, what's it called? A uh, bolt marrow to hit the fast- faster moving pieces of shit that are the sewer rats. Like, you can do it, but there- it's not necessarily very reliable if you're not in a, if you're in an open space like uh, this area right here. Um, but with shotgun, I can just kind of do this and hope things will hit. <clears throat> like that. Like so. So yeah. It's kind of- and never- so I had this problem for a while where I wouldn't switch out my weapons once I'd found ones that I really liked. And like even if I'd run out of ammo for one of them. Which isn't good because, I mean, obviously if you run out of ammo, you can't do anything with them. So, it, it's kind of learning to be a bit versatile with your weapons that you're using, even if it means switching out temporarily. Um, and then, like, picking it up again. Oh shit, I missed. Nope. I missed, like, three times, it's fine. Ah, uh, no, I won't take the shot on shotgun. But yeah. A lot of it's just kind of learning to adapt as you go. Um, I... So, for example, like, there's no one mutation that's gonna be better than the other and that's gonna be- well, except for maybe Strong Spirit, because it- it, it allows you to survive another hit. Um, that would've killed you. It's basically like, um, oh god, what is it called? I think- is it Last Chance? Is that what it is? I, I can't remember, but it's that thing that allows you to survive something that would normally kill you with one hit. Um, with one HP left. Which is really useful, honestly, because it gives you a second chance at things that would usually just, like, completely just annihilate you will just put you down to one HP. And it's kind of really nice, because I feel like... It, it makes the game a bit more forgiving in the long run, in my opinion. Also, I want to show you guys something, if I can remember what uh, thing it is. I don't remember what- Aha! If you hit B, you can use the air horn. Why well, he's a bit of a ridiculous character, and I really enjoy playing him. He's fun. He also doesn't want to get enters the level, but... Um, oh god, there's like three of them. Um, but yeah, it's... It's fun. I like it. I like playing as YV. He has a pretty solid, like, active passive ability. Active and passive. Um, I like playing as him. You can do some pretty ridiculous stuff. Um, be very careful because enemy shots can and will blow up, as you saw that happen there. Can and will blow up, um, level props, which, like, such as the cars and shit. Um, I'm not doing very good damage to him right now, but oh well. Survivability. Oh Jesus. Um. Just let me, uh, shit. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, cool. Um. But yeah. Ooh, secret missile. Eh. Eh. Nah. Screw it. I'll just keep my crossbow with me. Um. I will take that. I should take it. <sighs> oh well. That's fine. Um, but yeah. So as you see, double shot from a oops from a, from a crossbow will annihilate that piece of shit crystal that's blasting me. Which is nice. Um So in crab so the crabs will hurt you as they walk into you as you saw there. Um they're basically like the shittier sewer rats. Um they're basically shittier versions of the rats from the sewer. Shittier in that I hate them more. <laughs> also, webs in this level will slow you down, as you can see here. Um, which means that things are much more likely to run into you. You can't really run away from them. And it's switched fast enough there, that's my bad. Um, 
energy screwdriver is so tempting, but it has such a small reach. I'm gonna take it. So energy screwdriver is fun because you can kind of spam it a little bit. Um, whoops. Hold on. Excuse me while I panic for a second. Ow. Yeah, I died. That's fine. Um, but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> And a little frustrating. <laughs> You're probably get to it'll probably get to the point where I will start raging a little bit in these games, which is gonna be fun. But <sighs> the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break here and come back in the next episode. They're probably not gonna be as long as that first one because, good lord, I just didn't want to cut that because I did a lot of explaining and whatever. But. Yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please let me know if you guys want to see me playing other roguelike games. Um, eventually, I will have episodes of Enter the Gungeon, um, because I've also been playing that a fair bit recently. But yeah, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Jeez, Alex, don't be so sassy. It turned red! Oh, what are you doing? Ah! Skeleton!